Well, how is it going, Flipping Family? And welcome back to yet another flipping video. The first video I've done in actually quite a while, and I cannot say with any more, I don't know, fucking honesty, that I am excited to be back. I'm super excited to be back with you guys. Super de duper. So, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I don't know. What are we gonna do for this video? I thought we just flip, man. I haven't just flipped in quite a while. I know I've done a lot of live streams, but I haven't flipped in, like, in a video for quite a while and just given advice. So I think that's going to be the plan for today, guys. And we're going to execute that to the best of our capabilities. And we're just, we're going to see what happens, man. You know, things went pretty well in this flipping session that I did, I feel like. I didn't really have anything that I lost a ton of money on, but the margins weren't the best. But overall, it was, it was a solid, solid flipping session. So enough of that talk, um, check out the Discord if you guys haven't checked out the Discord already, link for that is in the description of this video. Do your boy a favor and do yourself a favor. Go check out the Discord, I promise you it is worth it. So many people are on there that are extremely knowledgeable about the game, its ins and outs, how it works, and how the basic, like, basic concept of flipping, like what it is and how you can do it. And that's what is extremely important to me to make sure all you guys know at least the basic concept of flipping. And that's why the Discord is there, guys. So join that community, and I promise you will not regret it. And if you like what you are watching, and if you want to support your boy, all you have to do is like the video. And maybe maybe subscribe if you feel like subscribing. If you think that I deserve it, go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys. That's all I had for this introduction. This introduction is finished. Let's get into the video. So first off, boys, Zora Scales. If you're not investing in Zora Scales, they're at all-time lows, guys. Okay, maybe not all-time lows, but they're they're down there. I can see at least he's going back to 200. Right now, they're selling for 190. So I am stockpiling on Zora Scales. If I were you, I would definitely be stockpiling on Zora Scales. I think they're only going to go up from here. Uh, I think I bought them like two days ago or something like that, and they're sticking at 190. And I'm actually getting to buy for 187 right here. The margin just happened to be 3 GP, which is absolutely insane on Zora scales. So I'm telling you guys, they are going to go back up. Like, heed my word and just listen. They're going to go back up. So do yourself a favor. If you have the GP, set it aside and invest in some Zora scales. I promise you, you will not regret it. But besides for that, the new, I, I guess I haven't played this game in a few days. The new update where you can see how long there's been an offer in. I think that is absolutely amazing. That way you can tell how many minutes it's been you've had an offer in, how many how many minutes it's been since uh, an item sold, how many minutes it's been since an item bought. I think that's really, really useful for high volume items because it'll tell you the exact minute down to the second when the last item was bought which i think is extremely extremely resourceful because whenever you're flipping like it's hard to keep track of time at least i have trouble keeping track of time so that way i know okay it's been five minutes since the zora scales have bought it may be time to rethink that margin and see if it's increased see if it's dropped so definitely whoever i, th I think it's it has to be a rune light thing it has to be a rune light thing amazing i love the addition i'm interested to see the effect that it's going to have on flipping like i i don't know to be honest with you i think it's going to be beneficial but really we'll have to see but amazing update guys so i decided to check out the uh guardian boots here and they turned out to actually have a decent margin on 39k um They've had some absolutely insane margins on them recently, so I think this is going to be definitely more a consistent margin, so we definitely have to go for them. It's not like over 100k. If you see over 100k margin on Guardian Boots, uh, I wouldn't say avoid them, but definitely be cautious. Maybe only flip one pair at a time. Um, toxic Blowpipes, I'm going to go ahead and check those out. Man, Bandos Tassus are buying too. Guys, things are going really, really well so far. You know, I couldn't ask for a better start to a flipping session. Things are going really well. The tacits are flowing. 
Um, rune darts, I think they have like a 9 GP margin on them or something like that, which isn't crazy, but I know rune darts are going to flip, so I'm going to go ahead and do those. And damn, blowpipe's already sold. Okay, that is actually, yeah, that's pretty crazy. We're going to go ahead and list these, but should I sell them for 160? I'm going to try 159. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get 159 for him, though. 3159. So we'll probably have to revisit that. I'm going to go ahead and cancel the offer selling the Tacit. See if we can get them to sell. Maybe for a little bit of GP under. Yeah. It's only 5k under. It's going to be all right. And one Insta sold. Look at that. Okay, so like I said, Tacits are definitely flowing tonight. And I have not had that much luck with Tacits recently. So I'm really happy with that. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll try the Trident. Dude, last time I did the Trident, I got like a 400k margin on it. And I knew instantly, shit, I just lost a ton of money. And I, I did. I ended up losing a ton of money because it did not flip. That margin was super, super inflated. And how that happens is there's just not many Tridents on the market. And so everything's just drastic and amplified. So once people saw that margin, they're like, holy shit. And it just kept getting undercut and undercut and undercut. And it got down to, I think, like 8K or something like that, which is kind of what the Trident's at now. You can expect between, I don't know, 5K to 20K, I would say is the average for the Tridents. So I'm comfortable flipping the entire limit at once with the Tridents. I don't usually do that, but I know that it's going to sell. It's like Furies, Tridents. Um, those are actually some of the only items that I know are going to sell, so I don't mind flipping the entire limit at once. Those, eh, Dragonfire Shields too. But overall, definitely keep an eye out if something like the Trident has over a 400k margin, because you'll get fucking slapped in the face, dude. Alright, so all the Furies sold. So we're going to go ahead... No. Maybe should we do occult necklaces? No, fuck it. We're gonna try. We're gonna try Armadillo helmets here. I've had a lot of luck with Armadillo helmets actually recently. They used to have insane margins on them too, dude. Like I'm talking, I don't know, upwards of 100k. But I've not seen that for quite a while, so I'm not gonna count on ever seeing that again, to be honest with you. But we're gonna go ahead and try and flip four of them, see what happens. Um, the Guardian boots, I may have to end up dropping them just a little bit. Along with these rune darts, not a single one is bought in over 2 minutes and 30 seconds, so we're going to have to revisit that. We're going to have to revisit that buying price, maybe increase it by 1 or 2 GP, potentially. Uh, Guardian boots, I think, are still good. Trident 1 has not bought for a minute, but I think I'm going to make the rule of thumb. Anything that's, like, above 4 minutes... No, above 3 minutes. We're going to go with above 3 minutes. If anything's above 3 minutes and hasn't bought that's not high volume, then I'll go ahead and revisit the margin. Um, it's going to be interesting to see if I actually stick to that, though. So, the steel bars had a 9 GP margin on them, and I, I went in and went with them for first off. It's 9 GP margin, which is kind of insane. There we go, tried and sold, which is kind of insane for the steel bar. I've seen it upwards of 10, but 9's pretty good. I haven't seen that for quite a while, um, and they're buying, which I'm happy about. But they're 370 right now they're really low too guys so maybe look at steel bars to invest as well i would definitely recommend that we're gonna try the primordial boots here uh, that's not the greatest margin but shh, i think i'm gonna go ahead and go for them because i know they flip so we're gonna go ahead and try a few primordial boots guardian boots i went ahead and adjusted the look at that primordial boots okay see if we can get them to sell just as quick it's highly unlikely, but we're going to try, boys. And one zero. I th no, that's that, that's a reasonable amount. <laughs> no, we're going to drop it by a few more GP. Let's see what that guy, Taco Smasher. Good name. Good name, Taco Smasher. All right, we're going to go ahead and drop him by a few GP. We got the other three tridents to buy, so we're going to go ahead and sell those. But what I was saying about the Guardian Boots is the Guardian Boots... I dropped him by, I think, another 5k or something like that. It's been over a minute, but nothing's happened really yet. That's all right, though. Um, I know I can get some type of profit out of the Guardian Boots, so I'm not super worried about them. There we go. Promoting a boot spot. I'm going to check out Gutham's sets here pretty soon. 
I'm kind of trying to do everything in order just because it's my first time back after, you know, a really fucking long hiatus. So I'm still trying to get back into the into the the rhythm. I'm having such a difficult time with vocabulary, boys. Back into the groove. That's the word I was looking for. I guess rhythm's more correct, but I, I don't care. We're going to check out the oak planks here too, and they have an insane margin on them. I don't know if that's going to last, so we're going to try try to see if we can get them. I, I don't know if that's going to last. I'm. Yeah, we'll, we'll try it out. Sweet, look at that. See, guardian boots selling. No concern there. Dragon fire shields buying. Everything's going really well, guys. I'm I'm liking the way things are going, and we're at like 250 plus k right now, margin um, profit wise, not margin wise. So I'm happy with that too. You know, we've obviously had a lot better, but I can't complain about 250 k. So we're gonna go ahead and check out. I think we're gonna check out the Guthans here. I have not had a lot of luck with Guthans recently, but I'm really hoping we can get some decent margins out of them. I'm hoping like 30 plus K is what I'm looking for. So we get out of it though. Hey, that's really good. Okay, I'm worried. It, I don't think that's going to last. 59K? Damn. That's insane for the armor sets. So let's see if we can get him to flip. And Primordial Boots are still flipping, which I'm happy about. But I really, really, really want those armor sets to flip. That's an insane margin on them. Brief update. So Pegasian Boots, and enough of a margin to try and flip them. Um, Abyssal Bludgeon, which I used to not flip. Really decent margin on it, like 89k, so I'm trying to flip a few of those. We're going to check out the Magic Logs here, too. I don't know what type of margin we So, wow. 17. Huh. We'll try and flip a few of those. Mahogany Logs had a decent margin on them, too. I'm kind of worried about them selling. As you can see, none of them are selling. Think about canceling the offer on the rest of these Mahogany Logs. We'll try 402. Soft Clay had an 8 GP margin on it. Yeah, fuck it. Cancel the Logs. But everything else is going swimmingly, though. Besides your Dragon Crossbows. They had like a 12k margin on them, but it doesn't seem we can get them to buy. It's only 3 minutes in, though. But we're almost at our mark of not doing this shit, not flipping them. So we'll have to we'll have to see what happens. Um, I am hoping we can get them to flip because 12k, and I don't know what the limit is, like 70 or something on the crossbows. So if we can get those to flip, that's a pretty penny that we can make out of them. So yeah, I decided to go ahead and <laughs> try out the occult necklaces, and they had a good margin on them. I think it was like 12, 13k. I think it was like. 12 13k or something like that for him so if we can get him to flip that's gonna be great well we'll see what happens though and it's just just issue your armor sets um i'm gonna try and buy them i think for like 50 mil 600 000. i'm interested to see what happens with those though um because i've never done this method before i'm not gonna price check i'm just, just gonna try and buy it based off what ge tracker says it is um I'll keep you updated though. Yeah. So fuck just issue your armor sets. <laughs> I bought them for 5600, 50 million 600,000. I'm I'm not going to get that for it. And I, I <laughs> god. So I got it listed for 514, but I'm going to have to continue to drop it down and see what happens. Um it's it's hasn't been a crazy amount of time, but I'm going to drop it and Maybe I can get a few GP from it. We'll we'll see what happens though. Um, chest plate, 50k margin each. So obviously that's a no brainer. You got to go for that. Um, everything else though is kind of not that crazy of margins. It's it's been an interesting session so far. Yeah. So that fucking sucked. So we ended up losing 100k on that. Um, I was kind of impatient, but eh, it's whatever. Dragon Claws had a decent margin on them too. I I have not been able to flip a lot of them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to buy another because I haven't learned my lesson on the armor sets. So we're going to go ahead and try those again. Um, I'm finally getting the Mahogany Logs to sell off with a profit still. With a profit. But 
It's it was narrow. It was narrow. Um, Dragon Claws. I think what do they have? Like 60, 70 K. I'm I'm stupid. It's it's right in front of me. It's 114 K. So really good margin on them. I've been having trouble getting them to buy. So that's the only problem I've had. And we've reached the hour mark, so I can't really buy any more of them because this is a one-hour challenge, boys. That's all we do. Um, it's whatever, though. We still ended with a pretty penny, so I'm happy. And that's it for the video, boys. 1.434 mil. Decent flipping session. We've had better, we've had worse. Hey, if you like the video, go like the video. And please consider subscribing. Huge shout out, by the way, to Siratube. I just want to say, check out Siratube's channel. I will try and link that in the description of this video. He's another great flipper. He knows he knows his stuff, man. So please go check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description of this video. And don't forget, whenever I go live, you need to turn on notifications to know whenever I go live. Because I give away a lot of shit during those streams. Anyways, boys, that's all I had for this video. I'll see you in the next one.